Hey everyone, welcome to another video uh, about my solar setup. So I'm almost at three years in and someone on YouTube the other day asked me to make an update video. So I'd love to give you all an update on how my solar installation is going and maybe help you make a decision on whether to install solar or not. So to give you a quick rundown of my setup, I've installed 6.38 kilowatt panels, Trina Black. I'm on a single phase Fronius 5 kilowatt inverter. I have a Fronius smart meter installed that tells me my input and output. I live in Victoria, Australia. And I had my solar installed in June of 2018 for just over $6,000 and it's now March 2021. I track my solar feed-in and consumption every month and I've saved just over $3,600 over the last 32 months. So that's just over $100 a month return on investment. So I've already received just over 50% of my initial investment. So would I recommend you to get solar panels? The answer is yes but there's a few considerations. The first consideration is, do you have enough roof space that is not shaded throughout the day? I'm lucky enough that I have a generous roof, single story, and largely unshaded and uninterrupted for most of the day. This dramatically changes how much uh, I can achieve every day or whether uh, you might need to spend more money to purchase micro inverters that isolate the panels that are shaded so that you get the maximum efficiency. Number uh, the second consideration is, is can you find a retailer that will give you a great deal on your feed-in tariff versus your usage cost? I have been lucky enough to be on an off-sale grandfather plan from Amazim who recently were bought out by AGL. Amazim uh, had, uh, had a plan and it was limited to a five kilowatt inverter system. And it gave me 20 cents per kilowatt hours every time I feed in. And whenever I used electricity, it costs 28 cents per kilowatt. So it really depends on whether you have an offer in your area from your retailer that will be advantageous. If you have a standard uh, solar feed-in um, and you are paying high electricity costs, then you really need to uh, think about um, that difference and whether or not um, a solar installation will give you the return on investment within say between five and 10 years, which is the lifespan, or uh, the warranty lifespan I should say, for your inverters. The third and last uh, consideration is around your system costs. Um, uh, and, and this is really dramatically decreased over time. The government is providing some subsidies right now. Uh, so it's best to check to see if there are incentives that can offset the initial high costs and perhaps give you a return faster, even if the retailer feed-in tariffs might not be as attractive. Over the next few months, I'll be investing in a solar battery and connecting myself to a virtual power plant through Shine Hub. I'll be documenting the process as I go through it and hopefully it will help some of you also determine whether you should invest in a battery or not. For now, my solar panels have been working fine with no maintenance at all. My Fronius inverter has been working solidly throughout the winter and summer, not um, uh, and largely because it's not directly under any sunlight, and my panels seem to be uh, holding up okay as well. I hope this this short video has helped you, and if you do have any questions about my setup, uh, and uh, please feel free to leave a comment and like and subscribe to get more updates on how my solar setup is. 
and plus um, look, I look forward to updating you on my next adventure with a solar battery. See you all in my next video.